Yeah, well, it's time for another BTS vlog. It's about 2.30 in the morning. Uh, I think it was, yeah, it's Saturday. Uh, what you call it? This <laughs> is Saturday, uh, September 28th. So, um, it's this, so this is basically the vlog that's going to cover uh, September 27th, but it's be done on 28th because uh, it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm just now finishing. And... Yeah, this is kind of what happens uh, uh, over here is that uh, uh, days can be very long. Uh, I've been doing, actually since the upgrade, I've been doing uh, about 15 hour days of studying, of uh, working here. So it does get kind of long, it does get kind of uh, uh, very tiring, but... Uh, on the whole, it's not a not a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> I found the new setup to be uh, very functional. Uh, I'm getting back into the flow of things again, and I find that I can do a lot more work, get a lot more work done in that time period than I did before. So you know, that's what upgrades are supposed to do. Upgrades, although although they do take time to 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 fix up. Uh, the end result should be, if the upgrade is, is done properly, uh, that you're able to get more work done in, in that same period of time, or, or uh, more work done, uh, in, you would say a shorter period of time, but uh, because you really can't uh, exceed, you know, really pushing it at 15 hours of studying, uh, that's sort of my upper limit. Uh, I have to fit as much as I can into that 15 hours. And what this upgrade has meant in terms of efficiency has meant that I've been able to get more done in the 15 hours than I normally would have been able to do uh, prior to the upgrade. So uh, that's where that's going. And here's, here's how it translates. It allows me to clear a backlog up faster than if uh, I didn't have this. Uh, it, let's say, give, give an example here. Uh, one of the problems that comes in is that when I'm having to uh, uh, bring in new videos to the library, bring, new, bring in new sources into the library, you have to read through and watch through hours of documentaries, hours of uh, reading books and so on and so forth to bring them into the library to figure out where they go in the library and what information is going to be, inf information is going to be useful inside that documentary, inside that book, or whatever, whatever that resource is, you have to sort of examine it. You have to analyze it in order to see where it fits in the library. And this is a process that could take a couple months to get through. And if you have only one desktop, and that one system can only handle only the documentaries, then anything you want to do on YouTube gets locked up and uh, push back uh, months at a time because you have no other way of, uh, of dealing with that backlog because your main desktop, your main research facility uh, can only handle one thing at a time. Uh, now, the way, this is not the case here. This uh, uh, upgrade, before I was able to handle multiple, multiple things at a time over the network, but now I'm able to handle multiple things at the desktop, not just over the web network, but here as well so that I have a lot more flexibility in terms of what I can do at what different times. So uh, basically, now instead of watching the documentaries on my desktop here, I watch them on the TV uh, so I can do all the vetting of the documentaries down here. And at the same time while I'm watching documentaries, I can go through the YouTube community uh, and say hello to people, see what's going on, check out different videos. Uh, like I went by, someone emailed me uh, a couple days ago it was on a sort of, it was, uh, yeah, just about, a day, just about a day ago, I got an email from uh, this girl named Laura. She has a channel called uh, Laurology. She is, I guess, a fan of uh, Morgan Page Loves. And she saw that I was sort of hanging around Morgan Page Loves' page. And, you know, it put out a couple of response videos. And she, she invited me to come over and sub to her page. So I did that. I went and sub to her channel. I sub to her page, or her channel. And sort of now I start going by there on a regular, on a more regular basis. Uh, but if uh, I ha didn't have the system the way I had the system, I wouldn't have been able to do that. 
because uh, I would have been only been able to work on the documentary. I wouldn't have been able to deal with what's going on in the community here. So I am now able to do a lot more work than I used to before. Than I used to with the new systems upgrade. It also means that uh, I'm developing IPT in, in, in a lot uh, more realistic fashion now because I do have an IPTV system here so that uh, I can sort of gauge uh, uh, how much content I can actually view on IPTV and I'm finding there's an enormous amount of content up there on IPTV. Uh, some of it open, some of it closed and uh, you could do IPTV and not miss cable at all. So it just basically now is a matter of sort of gathering things together and getting things more organized as I uh, as my experience on IPTV grows to see what more I can do, where I can stretch the boundaries, and of course the rest of this week uh, I'll be fixing up uh, the androids. Uh, I've got two of them more or less done. Uh, there's third the third one is on a bench in the main library. Uh, that has to be configured, so that way I'll have three uh, androids when I go with me anywhere. Uh, and the goal is to upgrade Cyborg Alpha and have a more continuous existence on the internet uh, for Cyborg Alpha than I have had previously. In other words, uh, Cyborg Alpha is going to be present on the internet a lot more than... than uh, prior to this upgrade, so that, that's sort of the whole goal here, to get more, more time on the internet. <laughs> Except, that's what the, one, one, of the goals of the cyborg, one of the goals of a cyborg is to have a life uh, in the internet, so uh, it's kind of the ultimate geek thing is to have, uh, is if you're a geek and you want to be live your life on the internet, well, uh, building a cyborg is the way you do that. Because that's where you get your, uh, your your ability to sort of move on out to the internet uh, and have more time there. Anyways, uh, I, I'm going to leave it here. Just about eight minutes. So I will talk to you uh, tomorrow. We'll see if we can do the vlogging every day. See how this ends up working out. All right. Take it easy. Goodbye.